I am so excited, guys. Look what came in the mail. Let's take a look at what's in this box. Oh, packing peanuts. And lots and lots of packing peanuts. Holy mackerel. Dig around a little bit. So we got, you know what? <laughs> I'll be back. So here's what we have. Uh, one of the handles on there was buggered up on mine, so I got a new handle for it. Here's a cross slide. Man, this thing is in great shape. As well as a tail stock. Excellent shape. And if you take a look here at this um, lead screw that I brought, bought that is, I mean, good googly moogly is it in good shape. It, uh, mine has rust pitting here. I can show that or you could look at the other video. It has pits all along. It's all rusty. This thing is like almost brand spanking new. Only thing is, two things. Number one is on the tail stock, the thing that makes it go from side to side, somehow it got bent in shipping. So I'm not sure how, how I'm going to replace that. Um, and also, this thing I bought, it's the wrong one. Um, so I got to figure out plan B on how to get one of these things. It's a screw that goes on the um, on the cross slide. Oh, and also this little thing that I didn't have on mine that goes on the end of this shaft. Got that too. It's in excellent, excellent shape. So we got parts for the lathe. Hopefully we can have some metal cutting here in a little bit. Okay, here's that lead screw that I just got and there's mine so you can see that there's a uh, pitting in that so I'm gonna probably use this one but I'll try to clean this up and see what happens a couple of issues though um, that screw that I showed you this cross slide goes onto this thing so this um, I don't know what this thing is called but anyway this piece there's another piece that slides on here I, I thought I had that but I don't so this is what my dad had put on there and it looks like Maybe because of the way he set this up on the back of there to accept this screw, maybe this screw doesn't go on this lathe, and maybe this is the correct one. And uh, you can see that there's quite a bit of difference. So when I get the part that goes onto here that goes that away, uh, maybe this is the correct one. So I'll have to order that. Also, that's the broken handle right there, and you can see that got a nice new handle here that'll go on there. So maybe that does go on there, and like I said, maybe this is something my father put in there just to make the thing work, and uh, I'm going to have to find that out. Also, one more little issue here on the tailstock. Um... He didn't give me the bolt there. I got to go look on the eBay and see if that thing that holds that down there was supposed to come with it. Because if he did, he he didn't ship that. But the guy's got a hundred percent good rating, so hopefully um, I can contact him and he can ship that out to me so I can get that tailstock locked down. Anyway, that's what I got so far. Um, that might be called a compound um, thing here and what I need now is a cross slide so I'll have to go look those parts up and uh, man I'm digging this though it's just that thing is in such good shape all the parts that I got from this guy are in such great shape I'm just excited that looks like I might be able to get this thing going I forgot with this thing back on the um, on the lead screw remember how I said it was smooth on this well, yeah, it pulls that lead screw out of the way of the 
the half nut in there. So yeah, this is uh, it's really nice, nice and smooth, no slop. So hopefully I can get this lathe going. All right, boys and girls, I got me a new package in. Uh, actually, two packages. I'm so excited. Let's take a look. See, this first one is. Let's take a look. A lot of paper. Oh, it's in here and it's heavy. And that's all. And then the second one. Oh man, this is sweet. They package it really with care. All right, I'm gonna pull this out of here, show you what I got. This is like Christmas in November. I got the uh, Atlas three jaw chuck with the uh, key. Got that on eBay. And from the little machine shop, here's what I got. A quick change tool post. It comes with four of the quick change tool holders comes with a Jacobs chuck with the key boring bars it looks about like nine of boring bars and it comes with uh, five cutters with different uh, types of tips and the things to hold them on and the screwdrivers anyway man this is like Wow Christmas time so we'll see how it works on the machine so here we got the Jacobs chuck into the tailstock. Fits marvelously. Nice and clean, shiny metal. And over here we got the quick change tool post. It's uh, A to Z. It's the, the aluminum one. I know the guys say I have flex in it, but I didn't have any tool post holder, so any one is better than none. We'll see how it works once I get the machine run. There she is sitting on the lathe. Now again, this doesn't have all the parts on it like it should. I just set it on here just to see what it looks like. The chuck looks absolutely awesome on here. So does the tool thing. So does the Jacobs chuck back here. I can't wait until I get the cross slide and try everything out and see how she fits. But right now, guys, I'm loving this thing. 